Welcome trainers, I've got some amazing news for you in Pokemon Go. Just recently it has been revealed that the exclusive Community Day move for Blaziken will be Blast Burn. We could have figured this judging from Typhlosion and Charizard also getting Blast Burn for their exclusive Community Day moves, but now it has been officially revealed Blaziken will be learning Blast Burn, which does 110 damage. Blast Burn will now make Blaziken one of the top fire type Pokemon in Pokemon Go. This May 19th, make sure you guys mark your calendars for this Sunday's Torchic Community Day. Of course, Torchic will be spawning more frequently in the wild from 3 to 6 p.m. You need to be on the lookout for shiny yellow Torchic. And also, during those three hours, of course, the three hour lures will be active, and you'll also be taking advantage of three times capture Stardust. So make sure you use your star piece during those entire three hours as you rack up all that extra Stardust. And finally, when you evolve Combusken into Blaziken, like I said, it will learn the exclusive move of Blast Burn. Blast Burn is going to be an extremely useful move for Blaziken, so make sure you evolve a couple Blazikens on Community Day. Let's take a look at this chart that I found on Reddit. This image is by Kyo Go, who I found on the Sylph Roads Reddit. So let's take a look at it. First up is Blaziken with Fire Spin and Blast Burn with the highest DPS on the chart at 17.247. However, take a look at the TDO being one of the lowers at 38.2. So what does that mean? It has a high damage per second output when doing battle. However, the total damage output, the TDO, is not very great. So it has contenders like Moltres, Charizard, and Flareon being very good, but obviously you can put more damage per second in in doing a battle with Blaziken. So Blaze Kick is being introduced to Pokemon Go starting on Community Day. So not only will you get Blaziken with the exclusive move of Blast Burn when you evolve your Combusken into Blaziken to get that exclusive move, but also Blaziken's signature move of Blaze Kick will also be available via TM. And here's the cool thing about Blaze Kick is that it will be available even after Community Day via TM. So if you have any Blazikins, new or old, or ones that you evolve on Community Day, it's okay if you want it to learn Blaze Kick. All you gotta do is use a charged TM. But make sure you save some with Blast Burn because that exclusive move for Community Day will be really powerful. We're not sure yet in the stats whether Blaze Kick or Blast Burn will perform better. So make sure you hold on to some Blast Burn Blazikins and also get yourself some Blaze Kick Blaze as well. So make sure you evolve some on Community Day and also TM some once we find out where Blaze Kick lies compared to Blast Burn. So stay tuned for those statistics. But if you're looking to join me this Sunday, May 19th, 3 to 6 p.m. for Torchic Community Day, come on out to Sunset Park in Las Vegas. I'll be out there 3 to 6 p.m. I'll be joined by Super Trainer Sakura and a few other friends, so come out and say hi to us. In other news, tickets for GoFest in Dortmund, Germany are now available for you to register for. All you need to do is go in-app to the ticket stub under settings and then simply follow that ticket stub link, register your email, and start checking your email daily to see if you have been selected for GoFest Dortmund, Germany tickets. Make sure you guys check your email every day to see if you've been selected. If you're looking forward to attending GoFest in the Asia Pacific region, it has also just recently been announced that Yokohama, Japan will be hosting not only Pikachu Outbreak, but the Go Fest for the Asia Pacific region. This is going to be happening from August 6th through August 12th. So that is six days, trainers, that we still aren't sure what days exactly Go Fest for the Asia Pacific region will be happening, but at least now you know that sometime during those dates of the 6th to the 12th, Go Fest will be happening in the Yokohama region of Japan. So stay tuned, keep your eyes posted on the Pokemon Go Live website and on Pokemon Go's Twitter and see when they will announce when ticket sales will start for Yokohama Japan's Go Fest. Just in case you were wondering if I'll be attending Dortmund, Germany or the Asia Pacific region Go Fest in Yokohama, Japan, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I will be there in Chicago, Dortmund, Germany, and the Asia Pacific region one, which we now know is Yokohama, Japan. I will be attending all three, and I know that I will be there for every single day of Go Fest in Chicago. So if you guys are going to Go Fest Chicago, I will 100% see you there. I'll be there every single day. And if you will be there in Dortmund, Germany, and in Japan, and Yokohama, I'll see you guys there too. Let me know in the comment section below, are you going to any of these Go Fest, or are you just hyped for all the community day events coming up? Let me know which community day you are most looking forward to in the comment section below. Let's talk about Detective Pikachu. Recently, we just had the opening premiere weekend for Detective Pikachu's new movie out in theaters now, and this weekend it racked up 58 million. Congratulations to everybody who worked on the Detective Pikachu movie, because it, clearly it was a success. That 58 million for Detective Pikachu made it the highest opening weekend for a video game live action adaptation. 
only being surpassed by Avengers Endgame. So nice job. I hope that you have all gone out to see Detective Pikachu and also Avengers Endgame. They're both two incredible movies. Go out, take your friends, take your family, and go enjoy some movie goodness. And in other news, official Nintendo artwork images of Armored Mewtwo have come out in the Japanese magazine Koro Koro. However, it should be noted that people are freaking out right now because Armored Mewtwo is getting people fired up for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield coming out later this year in 2019 for the Nintendo Switch. I want to throw in really quick that yes, I will be playing Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on my Nintendo Switch doing live streams on this channel. So if you're interested in seeing some Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield gameplay, please subscribe right now and stay tuned for my channel because I will be playing it with you whenever that game does come out later this year. So what about Armored Mewtwo? Koro Koro has specified that this Armored Mewtwo is just like the previous Mewtwo which this movie is being remade from. In the previous old movie, Mewtwo had this armor on him that suppressed his powers so that way Giovanni and Team Rocket could take advantage of him and make him do things that Giovanni wanted. So this armor on Mewtwo is actually just the same. It suppresses his powers. It in no way enhances his power. So this is not like uh, a beneficial thing for Mewtwo. It's actually kind of like harming him. So this is in no way related to Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Nintendo has made that very apparent and very clear and they just want to specify that this Mewtwo in the armor is suppressed by his powers and also they will be using him in this image to make all kinds of merchandise and stuff but it has nothing to do with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So let me know in the comment section below do you think that armored Pokemon will be coming to Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield? What do you think about armored Pokemon? Right now everything regarding Pokemon Sword and Shield other than the starters seems to be a little bit of rumors and speculation so I have no idea. I kind of hope that there will be an armored Pokemon but who knows? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video is a little bit short so I want to end the video with a little bit of a San Diego adventure. Here's my final day in San Diego with Jake, Super Trainer Sakura, Long, and a few other friends. Let's jump into it. Welcome back to California. We are in La Jolla this afternoon doing some raids. We're actually doing an Azelf raid right now with Jackie, Long, and Jake. Look at this beautiful coastline right here. So gorgeous as the seagulls are swooping down, playing around in the waves. Let's take a look. People paddleboarding out there. And with eight, seven, six, tap, five, four. Did we do it? Oh, we didn't, oh, we didn't oh, do it. it! So we failed that raid. That's embarrassing, but I want to show you guys what happened. So, not faking it, we failed that raid. And there's a couple Pokemon here. I still need shiny Apom. Let's check it. No. But how can you say no to this gorgeous view? Let's see what La Jolla has in store for us today on the beach. Who's that Pokemon? It's Krabby! Dead. Uh. <laughs> I don't think it's dead. It's so beautiful out here at La Jolla on the beach. They're catching crabs, their bare hands. This is so fun. They're reaching down grabbing these little like soft shell crabs. There's little like tide pools here. It's really beautiful. I think this is the perfect place for an AR photo. Without even thinking about it, I was like, wow, I need to take a picture of this beautiful shoreline. Look at this gorgeous coast back here. So I took an AR photo of an Azumarill, a shiny Azumarill, uh, sitting on the rock over there. And here it is, Detective Pikachu photobomb. So now it's time to catch it. Where is he? There he is, right here. Take a look at the shoreline. Let's get Detective Pikachu. There he is, Detective Pikachu on the beach. Let's capture him. Let's get an Ultra Ball. Whoa! Right behind me, the water is just coming up through the rocks. So beautiful. Look at how the water just comes in and out. And now we caught Pikachu. Oh no, we... Ah! I'm gonna get soaked up here. Here comes another. Here comes another, here comes another wave! Oh, woo! Whoa, that's awesome. Huge wave. And we caught Pikachu. Awesome. 
Detective Pikachu, you're mine. Let's appraise it. It is, may not be great. That's okay. We got Pikachu and we got a shiny check right here. No way shiny. Okay, we got my research breakthrough box right here. Could be either a Latios, Latias, Ho-Oh, or Lugia. They could all be shiny. Let's see what it is before the wave comes. Start encounter. Shiny Ho-Oh! Shiny Ho-Oh, I got a shiny. Yay! Shiny Ho-Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. This is amazing. Look, Jackie. That's the best I ever. Good post. Good post. Oh, yeah. I like looking back at it. <laughs> All right, we are getting ready to leave San Diego. Guys, thank you so much for showing us an amazing time. Oh, yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> we ate so much food. We caught so much Pokemon. Let's do it all over again. Yes, definitely. Uh, so you Next guys know week. what to do. <laughs> Smash the like button if you are loving all this awesome video shenanigans with Super Trainer Sakura. Make sure you guys check the link in the description box to go to her channel, like, and subscribe. And of course, Make sure you guys hit the bell notification icon so you're alerted whenever we go live and post a new video. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.